All right then, hello, 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 everybody. The moon is up, and so am I. And we're back with more Queen, finally. And I've been meaning to do this, but well, things happen. So, anyways, let's try and do two episodes, quote unquote episodes. Then, and the next video will just be two more until I actually get to the point where. Or I actually need to work on the next chapter because I'm getting closer and closer to the end of season two so I can work on season three but I keep putting it off and that's that's the thing I'm on my end but I really need to do more anyway and yes if you, if you do ask me the first season is the pilot season season two is the golden season Clean's point of view. After that dang snake blew up, we decided to help clean up Ninjago City. The th I liked the thought of helping the community. Jade, Jade too, even if we're, we're limited without our weapons. It doesn't really affect me since as I came of age. I guess coming of age it made me a bit less dependent on my golden weapon since I can still tell if someone's lying, which barely happened when I was little. <coughs> Excuse me. Nia since they found us and told us they found someone who can get us a place to stay since the bounty's broken. They, they took off to get the medicine for the Ultra Dragon, leaving us in charge to, of finding a place to stay. I'm putting the boys in charge of this one. I skipped because I said so. Just looking at the outside of the building makes me think that we got an apartment from the, jar, from the junkyard. I'm not complaining since everyone's here, but things could be better. One thing's for sure, I was right about the condition. To sum it up, it's a one, it's a room plus half a bathroom big, terrible lights with a bad view, but everything's in arm's reach. You watch one wrong move and someone falls through the floor with feet dangling from the lower level ceil lower floor ceiling. Excuse me, there's a there's a cat in the way. I don't mean queen, I mean like little house cat. Murph. There we go. I was claiming a corner when I heard of a new place. Is is this place too much of a dump to be considered a home? They they need to be reasonable if they want an affordable place to call home. Time skip because reasons. Tall, uh, tall, tall building. Nice paint job. Many, many floors. Expensive place with expensive things. It's out of our lead by a long shot considering the elevator goes straight to our floor. No way is this even impossible for Wolfie to afford. <coughs> this is the hero suite, made to honor the heroes of Ninjago even if they think it's garbage on, assuming the hero has a big deep pocket. Even if I want this, all the money co I collect from the ground plus the boys and Wolfies wouldn't pay for one month's rent. Guys, this isn't, isn't this a bit, I don't know, expensive? It may cost a bit much, but you deserve it, said the villagator. We deserve to be to go broke? The boys were sold when they saw train equipment. Lovely. We need, need to get more cash to live here, and to do that, we need jobs. Time skip for a TV show reasons. As the doors opened, I heard complaints from the boys. My feet, said Cole. I can't feel my feet. He got a job as a bank security guard. I don't have enough strength to play video games, said Jay. He delivers pizza throughout in, throughout the city. My gear is locked up many times, said Zane. He's a cook in a nice little restaurant. I didn't even know my gears could lock up. There are so many, said Kai. Wish I knew why he chose to be a party ninja since those kids are hectic. They were everywhere. I remained silent. Now why isn't Queen complaining? Because, Jay, I got a job that isn't stressful and play and pays a little under decent. Oh, really? Hey, why ain't? What's not stressful and has good pay? Ha! Huh, Kai said ain't. Hey, anyways, since I volunteered at the place as before, I, I got a job at a, a beauty place close by. Watch, when Nia comes home one day, Zay and Jay and maybe Lloyd too will fall in love. I'll fall head over heels for her after I'm done with her. What about me? 
Uh, we don't talk about who you fall for, Cole. What? Uh, you think I can't steal a girl's heart? An elderly lady beat you up, uh, and I he defeated you. And I defeated you before I came of age, which made me stronger. That's twice that girl's got the best of you. Oh, snap! Jay, you got you there, said Lloyd. But who's gonna help me train? I'll help you train, little Connor. Don't go easy on it, Queenie. But before you do, can you get me more ice, please? Can I ride up, Charcoal? <coughs> Sorry. Don't know why my voice is a little broken today. I wasn't talking all day, that's weird. Anyways, you don't get me wrong, I still love the boys, but right now the boys really need to act their age to get their act together. That's good because more TV show reasons. I made my heart. La 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 I made my way home with the money we need to make our monthly rent and to see Lloyd playing video games by himself. Hey, little comrade. Hey, Jenny. You're home early. Why's that? They let me out early and... Hey, you have to sound like me. Oh, why wouldn't I? You're always there for me. He yeah, only because I have a mind and know what's important. He, he smiled, but his smile turned into a frown. He was trying to focus on the TV. I looked over at the TV, but stopped as soon as I reached the window. Get behind me, Lloyd! He ran to the door as Scales got into the room. No way is he taking Lloyd on my watch. Give me the board and I won't turn you against your friends, he hissed. I saw how you fought at the treehouse and you would have done the world a favor, but those pesky ninja got in the way. Yeah, no, I'm keeping Lloyd. Whoops. Ah, man. There we go. <coughs> Fine, then. Now we'll just do things the hard way. The two of us fought as Lloyd tried to open the door. The stupid door has a voice command, which ain't working. Lovely. He sensei and Nia opened the door as my stripes glowed in order to take care of scales. He managed to make me hurt everywhere and unable to see straight. He Lloyd helped me stay up as Nia called the cops. I'm going to kill the boys when they get back. <laughs> Excuse me? Time skip because more TV show reasons. After hearing panic from the boys, Lloyd helped me he to them. You know, if you guys didn't get this, this expensive apartment, and the five of us would stay in one room to get skills, I wouldn't have needed to use my strides to take them down, unless it tires me still, or be hurting all over, or needy Lord to support me. They apologized and, as, as things turned to muffle. I'm sure we're going to the first place now, but things will be better now. <laughs> Let's do one more. This one's called Grand Sensei. And this is pretty much my favorite meme. This is pretty much my favorite and, um, uh, picture of Dareth. <laughs> the Queen's point of view. Oh, and by the way, you know, I, don't you know, I don't really have anything against Dareth, but I don't really know how he would react to Queen. Like, I mean, would he, like, he, would he, like, He'd take her words literally, like, how, because she can't really say, help, she says, help. Would, would he literally take her, would he literally be thinking that he, that she was asking for an help, whatever that would be. So, if this seems a little out of character for Dareth, I'm, I apologize, but I really don't know how he would react to Queen. Back to the story. I'm getting better since Scales did a number on me. I'm yet used to my tiger powers, and Lloyd's improving faster than I can say fish and chips. I say this because he just launched Kai to the wall. To the wall. Whoa there, Grasshopper. You're not even ready to face my peaky toe. Aha, he called Sensei. Nice. This is just a target practice for the next. With Kai. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Let's not be animals here, people. Things were quiet for a whole second before we all bursted out laughing, including Zane. Don't quite remember what happened after that, but I do remember the word dojo being said. Looks like we're dojo hunting. Time skip because reasons. <laughs> after a long bus ride, I still find it funny that since they tricked the boys to believe bus tokens were the te were teleport thingies, we found a dojo to dug out that belonged to a guy named Dareth. This, this place sounds promising enough. Okay then, ladies first. 
Doesn't that mean you go first, Kai? Lloyd? Is it Lloyd, Jay, and Cole both shared an oh snap and burst out laughing along with me. Kai grumbled as he went first. I was kidding about him going in first, though. As soon as I saw the fake trophies, I knew this guy wasn't you know, what he might say if he's here. Hello, is anyone here? I asked Zane. One minute, it said a guy from behind a door frame covered with beads. His mouth was full of food. <laughs> <clears throat> Music played it as a guy he walked in in a brown jeep. If his hair was white instead of brown, I'd say he's Santa. Welcome to Grand Sensai Daris Mojo Dojo, he started to say. I already wanted to eat my words. I am Grand Sensai Dareth, and I dareth you to join my dojo. He did something. He did something and got tied up in the hanging beads. Um, need help? I don't know what an help is, but I don't need one. I meant help. How rude of him. Oh, no thank you, little girl. Little? Oh, I've done this before. He got down and started talking about his fake trophies, trophies since he's a highly skilled karate machine. And they're just so fuzzy with lies. Look, Dareth. We're wondering if we he could share your dojo, said Kai. You see, we've been put in charge of training this little guy to be the greatest ninja of, of, all, in, of all of Ninjago. <laughs> Not possible, for I am the greatest in, in Ninjago. He... Naive. How many trophies do you have? Look, pal, we're the one who just saved the city from a giant snake, said Cole. <coughs> well, let me just pause right there really quick. I know he heard clanging because his water drinking. Pretty sure no one wants to keep me. He chugged down water. Anyways, is it is pretty much like a known fact. The animators animated Jay saying that line, but with Cole's voice. I'm I'm just I'm just trying to fix. I just try to fix it. He chuckled. He chuckled, claiming Garadon and save the city. He and said he wasn't stupid. Jay jumped in. And claiming it's a common mistake, but Dareth cut him off. If he's offensive once more, how am I keeping a straight face? Let I'll let you train here, but only on one condition: you can defeat me. If you succeed, we will share the dojo. He did some kind of move. What martial art move was that? That's right. I. Grand Sensei Dareth, master of all fighting skills, challenge one of you to a battle. Roger states if he he even is skilled in the brown belt, he know things. I know that Tiger, he sounds like a warthog. He's mine, boys. He, they, bat, they backed off as I did Spinjitsu. Dareth screamed in fear until he was laying on the floor when I was done with him. How did you listen up and listen well? You know animals? We know Spinjitsu. Tiger's growl and war never what sound you just made. Garadon helped with the great devourer. I am not a little girl. Okay, that was weird. <clears throat> I I talked like that for as long as I can remember, and all uh, and all that you said was highly offensive. I'm sorry, and you can train in my dojo anytime. That things worked out. This chapter is called Pirate Tiger, and I've, I've kind of been waiting <coughs> even to read to read this for a while. The Queen's point of view. We could uh, 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 cut off my tongue and buy me a new one. We quick, we quickly. Excuse me, we'll quickly go die in a corner. Okay. We quickly started to train Lloyd. Surprisingly enough, I'm the one who's teaching him to focus when I can't focus to save my life. Kai can confirm that. Why else do you think he hates being in front of me when I shoot out my claws? I helped Cole place wooden planks on a table for Lloyd to break. Sure enough, he did. They're launching everyone everywhere. We should have we should have done twenty. That was the power of the of the Scythe of Quakes. He didn't even use a golden weapon, said Jay. 
Kai's voice actor, okay, let me just pause right there. Kai's voice actor said this, but Jay's body was moving. He was Kai wasn't. Twice, like, how does this, his, how does this, his fly by, um, how does this get past the animators and voice actors? See me on. That must be why you have uh, the potential to be the greatest ninja," it said an excited Zane. "You can harness all the weapons, uh, all the elemental powers. Really cool, indeed. And I'm and I'm gonna steal Sensei's words by asking you to please control your powers before they control you, little Conway. Yeah, I say as I start to relax. The first step in doing said task is to help throw your entire sister out of the wall. Please." Yes, I'm stuck in the wall, thanks to our little Conway. <clears throat> he pulled me out as a crack came from my back. A big ooh came from everyone. I reassured them with two bigger cracks from my back. Sure enough, I felt better. I have to admit, said Derek, not bad for a kid, but instead of ten boards, how about fifty? Stack em, boys. Uh, does he not see the giant cracks on the floor, the broken table, and the outline of me on the wall? <laughs> Perhaps if I, Grand Sensei Dareth, can break through without all, well, you will allow me to join your team and become the Brown Ninja. He? Are you the Brown Ninja? I said a snickering Jay. You must be joking. I nudged Lloyd. You think he looks like Hamel? He smiled and nodded. Don't think he'll ever take a Dareth seriously anymore. He requested straight for the dragons for help. By the way, tried that before. Never worked till I met Luna. To break the boards. <laughs> he gathered he gathered his strength and he tried to chop the boards. Things were silent. <gasps> yeah! He cried. Yeah, boy, was that funny. We started to make our way home and when we he saw something too familiar. That's our ship, I roared. But pirates asked Lloyd. <clears throat> Pirates haven't been around for centuries. Uh, Zane sends Garmin Doofus had something to do with this. As Kai took a, uh, took out a bus token, looks like we're tra we're tra looks like we're tailing our ship with a bus. What are we gonna do, boys? Little Karma's powers are a little dangerous to the rest of the world. Boy begged and pleaded, but ended up sitting inside the bus while the five of us went to the roof of the bus. I feel bad for him, but I don't want to get stuck again. <coughs> the, mm -mm. the five of us has formed a good pentagram uh, while we got closer to the ship. Uh, but a sudden stop came, we were launching us forward. <laughs> Kai planted his sword on the bus as the rest of us grabbed uh, onto someone. Kai was holding up, uh, holding us up while he grabbed Zane, who grabbed Cole. On the other side of Kai, Jay grabbed the sword and held me behind my tail, which hurts badly. Come on, people, we're trying to, to save the world here, Jay and I said at the same time, in my case in pain. Never pull me or Wolfie by our tails. It's very painful. The old lady was slow, the ship was getting away, and my tail is hurting so much that I am crying. The old, lady, bad, the old lady's bag popped open. Lovely. Jay, let me go! You're hurting me! Sorry, he said as he let go. I landed on the ground and held the old lady with her stuff as the boys ran off in some direction. I don't know where since I'm still thinking of, about my tail. It, it's like it's someone pulling at all of your hair just to give you non-tailed people an understanding. We <laughs> saw a ship fly by as the call for help was heard. Dang it, Dareth, Kai and I said. First time I ever copied Kai. Nicole said we had to get our ship to get on our ship when Jay turned around. Wolfie's costume shack. I see where this is going. Wolfie, we need your help. Anything for you, Jay, right? No time for jokes, Wolf. Or if we need pirate costumes like yesterday fast, why would an owl said so? So can we get our costumes or not? Nah? What size do you need? I skip because he said so. I don't really do dress up, but uh, even then, I have to admit that we look good, and I think I saw a light shade of pink on Cole's face when he saw me. I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll ask late. Oh well, I'll ask later if I remember. 
we sneaked we sneaked onto the ship as we, we were making in as they were making Dara stand up. So they they're they're making him walk the plane. If we get too close, we'd be exposed. That's when he made that even he thinks he stinks in martial arts. I pity the man. He fell off as Lloyd came in with the altar dragon. Dara cheered, saying he. He, he called the dragon, which with Luna saying that they found him. Oh, this day will be remembered. <laughs> we didn't spend Jutsu revealed our identities. Is this is just turned into a battle between ninjas and pirates? Pirates almost got me a few times, but we were winning. He, until Jay poured gumballs onto the floor. <laughs> like on cue, Lloyd flew in and, and hit a pirate and Zane. I went over to him. Little Connor, you were supposed to stay on the ground. I say as I put him in a barrel. Why do I have? Why do I feel like something's going to happen now? Just then, I found myself on top of Lloyd, trying to stay still. But I fell overboard. I grabbed onto the anchor as a as a lot of damage happened. I'm gonna kill Little Connor for almost killing me. That's why I saw a trunk, truck with pet with petrol, a dangerous substance. Boom! I yelled at the top of my lungs. Lift me up! I braced for impact until I heard a slight clang. Up I go cheering. How did I not lose my voice yet? Kai held me up as Lloyd started to use his powers. The mass of the sail class on top of me and the boys. Lovely. A thud was heard. Looks like a more girl power is on the way. The battle between ninjas and pirates resulted with Neo wing winning. And the pirates going to jail and my voice finally disappearing. Looks like we will have a mute tiger for the next fight. <sighs> Speaking of the next fight, the next fight will will be called Copycats, where we finally get uh, to uh, see uh, the evil ninja. And considering that my voice is pretty much like weird today, we, I'm going to have to call it quits here. So, so I guess I'll see y'all next time. Bye.